We're pulling a clutch of eggs today. It's an exciting one. We also have an update on some snakes that came out of their eggs and shed. So stay tuned. So guys, we got in some more Pro Coco finally. They're on back order and we have them. So if you guys are around our area and you are looking for some coconut bedding, we got some. So make sure you hit us up on that. Thank you guys for watching. If you could hit that subscribe button, guys, it really help us out. We appreciate it. And uh, also hit that thumbs up if you like it, but don't hit that thumbs up until the end of the video. I mean, you gotta make sure you like no, it. No, right? hit it right now and then, ah, and then watch the video. I want you to, while it's fresh in your brain, just hit that Hit that up. like button. Oh yeah. The incredible out of leg. So. So what do we got here, Ben? We have an Super Pastel Fire Calico Hidden Gene Woma. So it's a Firefly Calico Hidden Gene Woma. A Superfly, I'm sorry. Superfly Calico Hidden Gene Woma. So it's Super Pastel Fire Calico Hidden Gene Woma. I'm gonna pull this little egg out here. And what was she paired to? She was paired to a fire spot nose, 100% het clown, 100% het lavender albino, and 50% het pied. So we have a lot going on here. Um, we didn't realize or didn't think about the uh, whole deal with the hidden gene mom and the spot nose. So just unhook this. Oh, they're gonna roll around anyway. All right, all right. She doesn't have to roll around. Well, she's, she's a real man about it. She's really. You're just too scared about getting bit. I'm not scared about getting bit. You're super scared, are you? Mm -mm. She's empty all the way through. So, I was trying to. She was really hanging on there. I'm gonna put her over here for a minute. She's a beautiful, beautiful girl. All right, so how many eggs we got? And she's a first time mom. Six eggs, huh? Six eggs. They look good. Cool. They, so these ones are stuck together, so. We're gonna have to candle them, but. Yeah. Actually, this one's not stuck. Those two are, and this one is too. All very loose, so I'm gonna have to candle them around. Let me put this back for a minute. So I'm gonna candle these and get them set up. But uh, this is our setup here which we've gone through in other videos. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get those in the incubator. So thank you guys, and we'll update you on these when they are ready. 55 days from now. 55 days from now. So I just want to update you on these last two clutches that we had shut out. This is um, the Firefly OD female that we bred to a, a pewter GHI male. Mm -hmm. So we got this awesome normal has a crazy head stamp for a normal. It, it does, I don't think that it's just a normal, but it's hard. I mean, we couldn't sell it any other way. Could be maybe a really low quality um, Orange Dream. It's a boy. And it's a boy. So a um, nice little pet for somebody. Yep. Then we got this, what I believe, maybe it's just a fire. I thought it was a fire OD. Look at that belly, it almost looks yellow belly. Mm -hmm. It has a crazy belly. I, mean, I don't, I don't think, it's... think there's any possibility that there is yellow belly, but no. Well, we I'd have to have look back pairings. at the male, and that looks like was a girl. Mm. You said it when we first popped these that you thought yeah. that it was a a Sorry, girl. Like a little bit packing heat. <laughs> a little bit red, but and we'll obviously sex them again because the more muscle structure they get as they grow the more they can hold in and out organs and stuff i don't want to get too crazy graphic about it but in a couple weeks it'll be real easy to pop these here we have a firefly orange dream ghi which is mm -hmm. crazy i would have never guessed that ghi would have been uh, I guess suppress so much in this combination, but you can obviously see on the side here in these alien heads the GHI influence, and they're super dark, contrasty blacks. Mm -hmm. But the amount of orange and yellow in this animal is really cool. 
very beautiful i believe this is also a male take a mm -hmm. look at that belly you can start to see it kind of turn into a ringer on the side the belly is coming up to the, yep. the side of it yep yep so it's a very beautiful animal mm -hmm. but uh yep male so that's that clutch and we'll update you on one more and now we have the update on our ghi royal fire to ghi clutch so this is we're hoping and i think we hit don't get it you're blowing the surprises all what right heck, man, you better edit that out <laughs> we're gonna start here from the beginning this i believe due to the dark contrastiness and this in the um Brand curled up the curled up sort of like almost bicep <laughs> looking like mr palumbo would say the double bicep curl pose from the hurricane kind of look i think this is a this is what i would say is a ghi royal mm -hmm. very beautiful you know, the top of the head the neck stamp kind of the light there back up the tiny stuff like here yeah sure it's crazy so ghi royal mm -hmm. And you can see it has like those tra train tracks on the on the belly. Mm -hmm. And this is a girl pooped all over me, irritated. Then we're gonna move on to this one. Actually, I'll bring these out side by side. We believe these two are the same animal. One's a, one's a tad bit darker than the other, but I think, and it's. I don't want to sound crazy. They all kind of look like GHI Royal Fires to me. Yeah, it looks like these just two. like the like the dad. This one has a little like, you know how GHI can have like that red paradoxing sometimes. Mm -hmm. Has those little spots here. But um, and we've produced these before, so this looks exactly what like what we produced before. This one's a tad darker, but it's possible that this is just GHI Fire, but. I mean, we produced a bunch of GHI fires before, and one, the examples that I'm able to even look up online don't exactly look this way. I think that dark outline is something Arroyo does. I know GHI does it a little bit too, but I think it's just a little bit better with the Arroyo. So, so and obviously you're seeing the, the curled up alien heads, um, lots of dotting inside the dorsal striping, lots of hooking. All right. So cutting greens i mean i'd love to hear that any other people working in the project their opinion on these animals but um we have asked some other people and they agree so that's what i think those are and then the real crazy one this is a pair that was a pair by the way so male and a female which if they didn't both have fire in it would have been not not a bad idea putting them together but this we believe <laughs> this is it's got to be super ghi arroyo we don't think it has fire in it i don't think there's fire in it i think it would have been a bit brighter of a dorsal i think some of the the um pattern would have come through a little bit better if it had fire in it so so the alien heads are all kind of tinted out as you can see very dark the places that you can see it you are seeing the curling mm-hmm and hooking the dorsal stripe has a lot lots of pitting on it mm -hmm. and even even though it's like a black on black kind of contrast you can see it gets darker around the actual dorsal striping mm -hmm. and there's a little bit of the uh, thumbprints as well it's hard to see but it is hard to see but like I don't want to mess up the camera if you roll it up a little bit you can see like some of these spots here I feel like maybe it could also be a really dark super ghi but i don't think so i really believe that this is a super ghi royal and i hate to say that royal hit and everything again because it sounds like crazy but well it's a good i think that's what it is we just got lucky on it you know and, and this is a boy this is a male um certainly open to other opinions yeah. uh, that i reached out to a bunch of people already working their project and they seem to agree but you know we can't all see all different combinations but oh, boy. Um, if you know anybody who has seen something like this uh, yeah. Yeah, give me your opinion 
I like to hear it. It's the first Super GHI we've ever produced, so we're excited. It's great. So that's awesome. Um, at least, <laughs> at least one of these will be for sale. So <laughs> talk to us if you're interested. Yeah, absolutely. But we're very happy with this. I love the way this looks. Actually, I love the way all of this looks. Like GHI is already one of my favorite things, and Arroyo. So like mixing those together, match made in heaven. Thank you guys again for watching. We really appreciate you guys uh, just showing up and you know being involved in all these videos. Make sure you guys are commenting down below. Hopefully you're making us laugh because we enjoy that. Also follow us on Instagram. We're at RMB Reptiles there as well. The link's in the description. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, subscribe, all this stuff. Her Pals Rock. Her Pals Rock. Make sure you go watch that on YouTube, Instagram, or <laughs> not Instagram yet, but we have it on like Podbean and Google Podcasts, things like that, and it's coming on other platforms, but make sure you guys check that out. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, we got another great video for you today. I wanna start, I wanna start that one over. <clears throat> today we're pulling a clutch of eggs. It's kind of a crazy one, so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that. Also, we have a, how was I going to say we have? <clears throat> Today we're going to pull a clutch of eggs. It's an exciting one. And also we have some great updates for you guys for some snakes that came out of the eggs. So stay tuned. Is that still hokey too? Yeah, oh, go, Dang it. The Coco Husk you can trust. <laughs> the Coco Husk you can trust. That's a good one. We got to get better writers. That's a good one. All right, well, you're, you're doing a good job. <clears throat> okay. <laughs>